What is up, fellow trainers? I'm Trainer James, and you're watching Pokemon Soul Silver Dice Lock. This is episode 19, and in today's episode, we finally get to take on Jasmine, the gym leader of Olivine City. We healed the Ampharos a few episodes ago, but you know, things happened. We had to take on Chuck, and you know, you seen. So, <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started with a. Fabulous team recap. So, first up, we have our MVP, our starter. You know him as Pyroback. The level 34 Quilava holding the Petra Berry uh, with the docile nature, the blaze ability, and he knows Flame Wheel, Dig, Quick Attack, and Smoke Screen. And next up, we have Equator, the Poliwhirl, level 32, holding the Quick Claw. That adamant nature and he knows uh, he has the damp ability but he also knows uh, surf hypnosis body slam and mud shot which he learned through grinding so I grinded before I started this episode and I know there's not a grinding montage before but it honestly didn't take too long so I figured what the heck I won't record it but anyways so Next up is Metroid, level 34, not holding an item. The uh, Well, Metroid is the Tentacruel. And with the clear body ability. And he knows, or she knows, rather. Bubble Beam, Water Pulse, Acid, and Barrier. And then next up, we have... We have Shucky, the level 30 Shuckle, holding the Sooth Bell with the relaxed nature. The gluttony ability, and he knows strength, encore, bide, and rest. He learned rest, I believe, at level 30. I think. And last up, we have our newest member, RIP JD, the coughing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, JD. But we have Cotton Body, the Flaffy, uh, level 29, holding the magnet. So we finally have a Pokemon that is worthy of holding the magnet and he know he has the uh, hardy ability and he has the static ability um or the hardy nature i mean and with the static ability which causes paral paralysis on contact or may cause paralysis i guess but he knows thunder shock thunder wave charge and tackle and with that let's check out my items real quick so we have four hyper potions, two regular potions. And as you know, we can only go into gym leaders with five potions. So we have to get rid of one of these. Oh man, oh, it messed up. With a missing no. Okay, so let me I'll just sell off these two potions. And then we can... Oh, we're back, okay. <laughs> buy a Hyper Potion. Okay. Let's go battle Jasmine, finally. Let's head on to her gym, come up here. So. Jasmine is the steel type gym leader, which uh, Pyroback will be excellent against. I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader. But battle is a separate matter. Go for it. <laughs> I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. No one wants to battle. No trainers, just straight on to Jasmine. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the going steel type. Do you know about the steel type? They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. I know you're not. I know about steel types. I don't have any steel types. But I know about them. 
He has three Pokemon, a Magnemite, level 30. Okay. So, obviously... Let's just Flame Wheel it. We'll see if this does one hit. It does do one hit. Nice. Good job, Pyroback. Good job. Steelix. Okay, Steelix is part ground, and we are weak to ground. Uh, let's see. I could potentially go out into Equator. Put you to sleep. I think that's what I'll do. Go out into Equator, use Hypnosis. Level 35, Steelix. Okay, so, Hypnosis. Okay, good. Good job, Equator. Landing that 55% accuracy Hypnosis. Okay. Now we're going to see how much a Surf will do. I know Steelix doesn't have great special defense. Okay, so that's like a 3-hit KO. He woke up. Okay, so let's hypnosis again. Good job, Equator. He's got those eyes. Man, with that hypnosis. <sighs> that spiral on his belly is just, ooh, spiraling about. Okay, so two more surfs, or one more surf, should take Steelix out. Actually, she's probably going to heal, would be my guess. Maybe. Depending on how much health... Okay. She might not heal. Because she is in the yellow. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Ugh. It's okay. So, let's surf again. We get the Quick Claw. The Quick Claw activates. I mean, not that it matters. We were already faster anyways. But... Okay. Good job, Equator. Good job. Master at taking out that Steelix, a Magnemite, and let's go right back out into Pyroback. Because <clears throat> I'm not trying to go down to a Thunderbolt or a Thundershock or anything like that. Properly tempered steel won't be made rust. Well, I'm not exactly sure what all she said. Jasmine turned out to be an easy gym leader, which is good. I mean, Chuck was fairly easy as well. But, you know, we've had enough being blown back. You know, enough Pokemon going down. I just want to <sighs> sail through the game for a little while, you know. Just put it on easy mode for a while. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. James received the mineral badge from Jasmine. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 70, will obey you without question. Um, please take this to TM23. It's called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon will hit the target with its hard tail, occasionally lowering the target's defense. Okay. So, we defeated Jasmine. We got TM23 Iron Tail. We can see if anyone can learn Iron Tail. Cotton Body can learn Iron Tail. Actually, um, we'll hold on to that for now. Just because, let's see, what's your physical attack stat? 37, your special attack stat is 54. I mean, Iron Tail would be better than Tackle. So maybe we will teach you Iron Tail. I mean, you're the only one that can learn it anyways. So it's not like we're going to be saving it for anyone else. Yes. Uh, yes. So, 
Iron Tail only has 75% accuracy though, but its power is 100, which is so much better than Tackle's power, which is only 35. So let's get rid of Tackle. Cotton Body learned Iron Tail. He could probably learn Focus Punch too, but we don't need him warning too many physical moves. Look, no one took any damage from Jasmine. We didn't even need those five Hyper Potions. So we'll just go ahead and hang on to him. Which means, since we defeated Jasmine, let's see, how are you feeling? Question mark? Huh? Cotton Body is holding something. Would you like to take it? Sure. Cotton Body happily handed it over. The big scale in the fashion case. Well, it's a completely useless item. So, okay. I think that was the last thing we had to do on Olivine. Which means... We can now... Ooh! Oh yeah, the Miltank Farm. That reminds me, we need... Uh, to check the berry pots. Use these. Man, they still need watered? Jeez. I thought by now they'd be like ripe for picking, you know? But whatever. Let's get on our bike, go a little faster. Actually, I'm gonna come down this way. Come up here, and then we gotta head to Lake of Rage. Because we have story to get into now. What with? Team Rocket and their whole Lake of Rage thing. Which means actually we get a Red Gyarados encounter and a Lake of Rage encounter. <clears throat> Surf. Okay. Cut. I don't want to teach anyone cut. We can't catch Suicune right now anyways, so it's not like it matters. Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with you guys. I am, like, I'm not about legendaries. So, for me to go, like, chasing legendaries, I really don't care. The only legendary Pokemon I will, like, actively go after is Xerneas, and granted Xerneas from Pokemon X, you have to encounter Xerneas because it's part of the story, but um, you know, that is the only Pokemon I will go out of my way to catch and to use on my team, otherwise, you know, the three legendary birds from first gen, I don't care, three legendary beasts from second gen, don't care, um, Kyogre, Groudon, from uh, third gen, I don't care. <laughs> you know, Dialga, Palkia from fourth gen, don't care. So, yep. Thunder Shock. And the biggest reason I don't care about legendaries is because. They're so hard to catch. Like the game tells you, the game tells you how to catch Pokemon, right? And we have Flaffy evolving, so let's put my conversation on hold for a second, as we get to enjoy this nice Ampharos. Yeah! <laughs> I do like me an Ampharos. Favorite? Electro-type from Gen 2. Thunder Punch. You know what? I will learn Thunder Punch. Forget a move. Um, I don't think we need Thunder Wave because we have the static ability. So, I'll get rid of that. We can learn Thunder Punch. But we still have Charge. Uh... No. Don't want your number. 
So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, look at this. Damn, Bruce. You're such a great Pokemon! Cotton Body is holding something. Would you like to take it? No, you can hold on to it. It's just something for the fashion case anyways. Okay, so. What was I saying? Oh, about legendaries. That's right. So the reason I don't like encountering legendaries is because they're so hard to catch and the game teaches you like how to catch Pokemon. You know, they say weaken it down to the red. It's easier to catch. And then if you status it, so if you paralyze it, if you put it to sleep, if you poison it, if you burn it, if you do something like that, like it's even easier to catch. But for legendary Pokemon, it's just not true. You can get it down into the red. You can put it to sleep. You can throw as many Pokeballs as you want, and it's going to keep breaking out, breaking out, breaking out. You know? So I figure, what's even the point of going after legendary Pokemon? But like I said, Xerneas is the only one I will take the time to capture. Whew. Look at Cotton Body out here, just... Landed those thunder punches. Faint Pokemon left and right. Of course, we're poisoned now. So, we have antidotes, though. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, let's battle this guy. I mean, we might as well battle everyone we can on our way to Lake Lake Ridge or Lake of Rage. Figure, why not? You know, gain some experience along the way. Diglets, not going to be messing with Diglets. So let's go on out into Equator. <sighs> Equator. You took down a Steelix. I'm sure, you can take down a Diglet. Surf. Hmm. Guys, look. I got a new water bottle. Because I lost my other one. I have no idea what I did with it. Unless I left it at work. I have no idea. Surf, surf on this Geo dude. Surprised he doesn't have sturdy. Maybe he doesn't have sturdy this gen. Doug Trio. Oh, 17 Doug Trio. And we're still faster. Man, Doug Trio has such terrible defenses. Hiker Benjamin. Okay, Mahogany Town. We're here. Let's heal up. And then we can head north. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Please come back anytime. I'm sure I will. Okay. So, let's head up here. We've already got our encounter on Route 43, which was the uh, Giraffe Rig, AKA Jeffrietta. So much with my Pokemon. Camper Spencer sends out a Sandshrew, another Pokemon we can't do anything against. I mean, we could Iron Tail, but I'm not trying to stay in on a ground type. So let's go out into Equator. Again. Equator, you're getting so much screen time this episode. You're doing well. Doing well, my guy. Let's surf. He got sand in his eyes. 
Only had two hypnosis. No good on the surf. Critical hit! It's to make up for the miss last turn. Zubat. Can switch. We can go back out into Cotton Body now. Bringing out their own Batman. Thundershock. Straight away! Thundershock. Good job, Cotton Body. Cotton Body. Actually, Cotton Body doesn't even make sense anymore. Sand Slash. Okay. Back out into Equator. You know, if we could get a Mega Ampharos this game, Cotton Body would make sense again. But, we have two more generations before we get to Mega Evolutions. So, oh well. Equator leveling up. Camper Spencer. Losing is fun at all. No, it's not. Going here. The Team Rocket guys want us in there, though. So, let's just take the grass. Run from these Pokemon. Ooh, look, it's Jeffrietta. Out of the box. Back into the wild. You want a battle? I know you want a battle. Picnicker, Tiffany. With the Quiveri. Let's go for an Iron Tail, see how much it does. Not enough. Not enough. And she put us to sleep with a sing. Okay, well. Let's go into Shucky. Shucky hasn't gotten screen time yet. Neither has Metroid. Encore, but it failed, so let's strength minimize. Ooh. Your evasiveness rose, but we still land the strength, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Good job, Quaferi. Hi, oh, you want Quaferi too? They're still very cute, aren't they? I think we should be good friends. You want my phone number? Uh, no. I do not. I'm still waiting on another picnicker to call me about a water stone. So, let's get this awakening. Oh man! So close getting out of the wild! Ooh, a Mareep. Talking about cotton bodies. We'll just run. You can battle me too. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? I like to think Quilava's pretty rare. Don't think Nidorina's pretty rare though. Charge. And power up our next electric type move. Okay, charging power. Now let's see how much a thunder shock does after a charge. I imagine it Oko's. It Oko's. Nito Reno. I think the last Pokemaniac had the same Pokemon. Nidorino, Nidorina. Thundershock. I think charge only works. Yeah, ch ch so you have to charge and then use an electric type attack. That's how that works. I mean, our special, our special defense is still up plus one. And we're poisoned. Good job, Cotton Body. Gain another level. Level 31. Pokemaniac Brent. 
No, I don't want your number. No. You're definitely going to regret it. I don't care. No, I don't want your number. I wanted to answer the phone. Okay, that was our last antidote, so please let's not get poisoned anymore. Max Ether. Actually, we can go ahead and put Metroid out front. That way we don't have to worry about being poisoned anymore. Look at him walk behind us. Or her, I mean. Look at her walk behind us. She's the only female on the team now. This guy, I think he's another Pokemaniac. He has the uh, green pants. Yep. A slow bro! Just when we put our poison type out front, we run into a trainer with a psychic type. Well, back out in a cotton body, I guess. Disable. There's nothing for you to disable, so let's Thunder Punch. See if this Oko's. It does! Good job, Cotton Body. Pokemaniac Beckett. Please don't ask for my number. Thank you. How are you feeling, Metroid? Seems the breeze is coming from here. That's cool. Some red haired kid made fun of your Pokemon. But his name was Gavin. Nito King. Okay, we are perfect for this matchup. It's one bubble beam. Should take Nito King out. Good job, Metroid. Good job. Pokemaniac Ron. North to Lake of Rage. And we're here, Lake of Rage, and it's raining. So. Look at that Gyarados. Look at that Gyarados. Okay. Let's go get it. Let's put a uh, equator out front so we can use hypnosis. Actually, we're about to climb on equator's back. Let's get out here. So we have. The Static Encounter and a Lake of Rage Encounter. We already have a Magic Carp, so that's dupes. Run! Hey, come back here! Yes, ya! Look at that! Marvelous, shiny Gyarados. Intimidate. Ooh. Hypnosis. Yes, Quick Claw. Good job. Quater and land in the Hypnosis. I don't know if Gyarados is faster than us, but Gyarados is level 30, so it very well could be. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. Body slam. Surf. Surf will be stronger because it's raining. Even though it is resisted. Jeez. <laughs> Let's see how much a body slam does. Quick claw activating again. Oh my goodness, critical hit. Calm down, Equator. Calm down, okay? Okay, so we can... We should be able to surf one more time. This shouldn't take the Gyarados out. Okay, so it puts it in the red. It wakes up, and it wears us. So I'm going to use Hypnosis again, put it back to sleep. Hypnosis. Oh, we missed that time. A 
Okay, Twister. I think Twister is a special move. Quick Claw activates. And we land Hypnosis. Equator. You're, you're so good. You're just... You're like, way too good. Steadily climbing that MVP ladder. Equator's like, you know what? Pyroback, I know you're MVP, but... I'm here to dethrone you. So Pokeballs, we have five Ultra Balls. So you're asleep in the red. Let's see if this Ultra Ball will do the job. One. Ah, so close. Actually, that's a lie. I don't know why I said that. We weren't close at all. Okay, so you don't want an Ultra Ball. But I... I mean, you are red. Maybe you want a Pokeball? A red Pokeball for a red Pokemon? One, two, three. Red Pokeball for the red Pokemon. My goodness. <laughs> Gyarados' data was added to the Pokedex. Once it appears, it goes on a rampage. It remains enraged until it demolishes everything around it. The atrocious Pokemon. Oh, it's Sprite is blue. <laughs> so, what do we name a red Gyarados? Uh, the atrocious Pokemon known for uh, violent outbursts. What's the name you? Primal Rage. Anyone here remember that game? from Sega Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo, Primal Rage, you know, you could have like the dinosaurs fighting each other and two big apes and... Yeah. We obtained the red scale. Okay, so we are uh, currently missing no. <laughs> we have Magic Harps. Okay, so we're back. There's good old Lance himself. Mr. Lance. And I'm going to save this for next episode. So next episode, we'll get into Lance. We'll get more into the story. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. And if you had, remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Soul Silver Dice Lock content. Answer the question of the day down below. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!